Hello Kitty fans! Today I want to show you my Hello Kitty tin collection. Look at them, I have them displayed in my Hello Kitty room and I first wanted to show you this because I think it looks great. I'm not sure if they're gonna have this much space for long, but now they do. <laughs> so uh, I am going to take them downstairs and show them to you one by one. I think it's gonna be a two-part video. I have so many. Okay, let's let's get them downstairs. So guys, we're downstairs and I thought this would be a nice background, but uh, it's pretty dark and I have two lights over here. One over there, you can see them at <laughs> the glare. Uh, but somehow I just can't seem to find the right lighting. So for now it has to do, I hope, uh, to figure it out this week and next week will probably be better. But um, I like the background. <laughs> so I thought I'd show you, uh, start with my little lunch boxes. Um, little suitcases they look like well they are lunch boxes we don't use these in the Netherlands but they are really really cute I bought I think all of them in the UK I buy everything in the UK isn't she cute I love this and polka dots and look at the back side oh it's so cute oh boy I hope I can show you with this lighting well it'll have to do <laughs> and does this have anything on the inside no, yeah, it's just a tin. Because I do have one that's really cute on the inside. But this one is so gorgeous. I love Hello Kitty over here, the way this looks. I have one. This one is it's a huge one. Actually, I bought this one in Germany. I bought it at the Sanrio outlet store. I bought some of these plush. I have this one and I have this one. And I think that one, I'm not really sure. And I just thought this tin was so cute, but it was so expensive. Because I saw this first at the normal Sanrio store in Hamburg, but um, they closed, so they're not there anymore. But they also have, near Hamburg, in Ventorf by Hamburg, they have a outlet store. And there I saw this one for five euros. So of course I had to have, oh, sorry. And this one inside looks like this. I just think it's so cute. So yeah, I had to have this. I love these things. I don't know why I do, but I really love tins. I just... Look at them. It makes a lot of noise though. So I keep saying I bought them in the UK, but that one I bought in the UK. This one I bought in Germany, and I think I bought this one in Germany as well. <laughs> because I re recognize this line. I also have pens and uh, notebooks and stuff of this line. It's so hard to show you with this light. I'm so sorry guys. Isn't this cute? Look at it. But there's something inside. Oh, okay. Bouncing balls. Oh, it's a sad Hello Kitty. Why do I have bouncing balls in here? This one is really cute. Oh, I think... I think they light up if you bounce them. I'm not really sure. I must have bought them one day. <laughs> yes, this one lights up. I'm not sure if you can see it. <laughs> and this one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it would look like that if you bounce around. Okay. <laughs> I hope this will stop soon because it's still going. Okay. So this is where I keep my bouncing balls. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. And um, yeah, there, ooh, there's lots in here as well. I um, I didn't buy this one in the UK either. I bought this one and the next one in the Netherlands. This uh, was at uh, the local drugstore. They had this had candy in it. Just a few, just a little candy, not much. But look at this. This is a candy uh, brand. And um, I threw away the candy because it's horrible. But I love this little tin. And in here are more candy with bouncy balls. But they. Do you have this? I wanted to collect these balls, these bouncy balls, but they all turn, yeah, like there's a fog on it. You can't see the pictures after a while. So I've got loads of them in here. I thought they would be stay better if they weren't in the light. So now it's becoming a bouncy ball video. Oh well. <laughs> At least I know where they are now. <laughs> so there was a bit of candy in here and also with this tin there was candy in here as well. Oh boy, it's so dark. <laughs> I don't like this. Oh well, Shogunai, it's the way it is. Uh, I can't do it better today. But this one had a little candy in it as well. And um, yeah, threw that out because it was really awful. And there's nothing in here. Nope, just embossed Hello Kitty. <laughs> that looks nice. 
and oh but i need to dust them you can see that over here now Ooh, okay <laughs> really cute i really love this one and the final one is this cutie it's a little i don't know what it is you can put trinkets in here that's just a little tin and i absolutely love it i have no idea where i got it from fun from i mean <laughs> i think germany again i'm not really sure so when i go on holiday i'm always on the lookout for hello kitty because as you know in the netherlands nope well these two i bought in the netherlands so there's something but that was years ago but uh i just thought this was really cute when i saw it and it was pretty expensive i think it was about six or seven euros for an empty tin but i needed it so of course i did so i bought it <laughs> So I'm just gonna take this one out because this looks way better. It's too dark with that one. Uh, okay, next thing to show you is this. I saw this at, in the UK and I fell in love with it. They had coasters, they had hairbrushes, they had door hangers, I think, notebooks and tins. So this is uh, a piggy bank. There must be a little lock somewhere, I hope. Uh, it's not in here so i have no idea where it is a money bank it was five pounds it wasn't cheap so but i i just love the way hello kitty looks over here so i bought this one and i bought this one look how cute i just love the polka dots and i love how sassy kitty looks with her hairband and, and those really really great vintage glasses those sunglasses they're absolutely adorable this was three pounds i bought it at clinton of course, they have the best items. I buy lots of Disney at Clinton and Hello Kitty. And so when we go abroad, I always save up because I know I'm going to find something. But I bought this little tin. And I also have Hello Kitty like this. Look how cute. So it's just a little box. Oh, I thought it well, came off. But it's a really nice little box. And I love the the color and then the, li the little polka dots and just the way kitty looks it's just so cute so i bought these and this was five pounds these are three pounds so that's uh, 11 pounds already and um back then the pound was pretty expensive compared to the euro so it was a lot of money and also uh, ooh, i have to put them down it's heavy <laughs> and i also bought the coasters and i bought the brush and, and the mirror and the notebook it was a lot of money and I, but i absolutely loved it so i bought all of these when we were in the uk just a couple of days um it was a lot of money my, almost my whole budget but oh well i love them and then just a few days the next week we came back and they were all half price <laughs> they were all priced down and i have bought so much oh well what can you do but still i'm really happy i have them and uh, so i have these three tins and then well, someday I'm going to show you the rest, the notebook and the stuff, and the brush and everything. So, uh, this must have been, I think, a few years later, maybe two or three years later, we went back to the UK and, of course, they had new ones. So, look, I, I wanted them. Look how cute it is. Still with the polka dots. I love polka dots. Oh, so, this is just so cute. I love these tins. Is this still? Yeah, it's the same tin. This doesn't come off. It's really cute. And they also had this one. <laughs> I just thought it was so funny with the stars and her with her heart-shaped sunglasses. It's just so cute. And then, of course, they had this one. Huge polka dots. So I have these three tins. If I can show you like this. Ta-da! So cute. So these were three pounds each as well. Uh, I don't think they were on sale, but... Um, or maybe no i think i waited for a few days i thought i'll buy them next time hoping they would still be there and on sale but it didn't work out that year too bad so i paid three pounds each a trinket tin but they are just absolutely amazing so now i have uh can i show you wait here you go i have these i love it <laughs> i just like it so much oh this sounds really awful sorry Okay, these I did buy in the Netherlands. These are, is this is Star Drink. Himbeere. That's German. Okay, but I bought them in the Netherlands in one of those cheap stores that buys up bulk of stuff and then sells it really, really cheap. I think it's called a Big Bazaar. 
and uh, I just love it. I haven't opened it. I don't think it'll be really nice to drink anymore because expiration date is 2015. Yeah, uh, November 2015. I don't think I can drink it anymore. But I don't want to because I want to keep it like this. I could have opened it and poured out a drink, of course. But uh, I didn't. A Frischungsdrink. Yeah, it really is German. <laughs> That's funny. I bought it in the Netherlands. Look at these. I saw them both and I thought, what? Hello Kitty drink. Yay. So I'm so happy when I find stuff like this because you never have it over here. Every, every once, well, once in every four or five years you see something like this. And I'm so happy I have them. Let me just put them over there. And then I have some candy. This is also German, Erbeersahne. So this is strawberry uh, and whipped cream. It sounds really nice. I think I opened this one. Yes, I did. I don't think they're edible anymore. I think I should throw them away. I think they were pink ones. <laughs> okay, because strawberries are, are, are red or pink. Uh, I'm not sure if that's uh, 2010. Nah, that can't be. Uh, I'm not sure what the expiration date is on this thing. Oh, it says here, 2012. Yeah. Wow, has it been that long since I bought this? Okay. I just thought they were very cute. So I bought them on a while we were on vacation in Germany. And I also bought a pink one. Look at this. So this is Himbeere mit Sahne. So this is strawberry and this is... I have no idea what they're called. In Dutch it's frambos. Ah. Uh, I, if I remember to look it up, I'll just uh, put it uh, down here. So, these are just so cute. I'm afraid to open this, what's in here? Ah, oh, okay, it sticks. <laughs> I, need to, I need to take that out, that's really disgusting. Okay, but the tins are so cute. Uh, so you hardly ever see these in the Netherlands, stuff like this, except for those two. <laughs> but when I go abroad in the UK or in Germany, you have a better chance of finding items like this. So every time we're in a supermarket and I see stuff like this, my heart just skips a beat. I think, oh my gosh, Hello Kitty, yes! <laughs> I'm so happy when I find stuff like this. So these are really cute. I didn't even show you the cute little Hello Kitty over here. It's so cute. <laughs> so this is the final item I have to show you today. This one I got from a good friend of mine. Her husband has a colleague that goes to Tokyo a lot. Or the colleague has a friend that goes to Tokyo a lot. I'm not sure. But <laughs> uh, they saw this. It got, they got this at the opening of some store. It says Tokyo Station. I have no idea. It was the opening of, well, I understood, of a store. That's what I understood. And he got it for free. Just, just a little empty tin. Oh, you can see that it's Japanese because it's the other way around. You open it like this. <laughs> so it's really nice if you're left-handed. <laughs> and... Um, I just thought it was so nice that he thought of me. He had heard from my friend's husband that uh, I collect Hello Kitty. And he must have thought it a bit weird. But when he saw this and he got this for free, he took it with him from Tokyo to the Netherlands. Gave it to the husband of my friend who gave it to me. Right. So I'm so happy with this one. <laughs> Still don't know what it was really for, but uh, it's just so cute. Look at how, how Kitty looks in her top hat. That's just amazing. So this has been part one of my tin collection. I hope you liked it. If you did, you know I would love a thumbs up. And um, I'm going to show you more, of course. And I hope I will have figured out the lighting by then. Because I have two huge lamps over here. And it's really dark. <laughs> oh well. Um, if you want to see more of my Hello Kitty videos, then please hit that subscribe button. So I hope you will all subscribe to my videos. I need a thousand subscribers and loads more views to stay monetized because YouTube is changing all of that. And I hardly earn any money on these videos. And that's okay because I just love to do them. But I got used to getting about 40 or $50 a year for these videos. <laughs> now I won't get that. So hit that subscribe button. I need a thousand subscribers and uh, I think I think 4,000 hours, people watching 4,000 hours a year. So that's not going to happen soon. But I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and I'll have a huge giveaway when I reach 1,000 followers. <laughs> I hope that'll tell everyone who likes Hello Kitty. Check out my videos. And otherwise, oh well guys, I hardly made any money with these videos anyway. So I just love doing this. Uh, I hope you keep watching them and uh, I'll just keep making them. Money or no money. I just love it. So I hope you check in next week, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below which of these tins you like best. 
uh, it must be this one because you've seen it for about five minutes now. <laughs> I'm gonna stop rambling. Can't even say it. I'm gonna stop rambling now. All that's left to say is kitty hugs from Holland. Bye.